Hi, this is Nikki, and I'm here to share messages that I get from spirit for all of us who are all on this journey to love and to reunite with our divine vibrational matches in this lifetime. And um, yesterday, I all my videos go from one to the next to the next, and they are super interlinked. And they all come from our higher selves, giving us messages that we need to follow. So um, yesterday, I shared a mantra from my love mantra books, which are all there to ray, lift and shift vibration and move us into the vibration of our reunions and our highest path. And it's super important to focus on that now as the world is literally going quite bonkers. So uh, my guidance is to actually not watch anything, no news, nothing, to hunker down for a month and just try to just not watch anything and just be very much in your own energy field. So when I put, when I, um, this came through yesterday in yesterday's reading number 19, our vibration is like a thousand rainbows smiling down on earth. And um, they, I've already said that the guidance that I've been getting is to put the planet in a rainbow bubble and send rainbow rays into the planet to help heal. And um, then I realized yesterday when I was on my walk that this uh, mantra number 19 is also the number of the infection or so-called infection, which is COVID-19. And so, again, I was kind of like the synchronicities are never ending and even getting more and more and more strong, more messages from spirit coming through, more messages to stay grounded, to stay focusing on your energy, focusing on your light. Do not let the fears and doubts and all the craziness that's going around get on top of you. The amount of videos that have been, I mean, just everything. I mean, it's just got a uh, like to, and it's gonna get even more over the next two, three, four weeks. It will just get worse and worse and worse. So really, really important, the guidance is uh, to remain grounded. Our vibration is like a thousand rainbows smiling down on earth. And I'm going to pull one more. And it is you and me, we vibe at the frequency of our creation. How perfect. So you and me, we vibe at the frequency of our creation. And that's what we're all here as a light worker, as a twin flame. We're all here to get back to the frequency of love. That is essentially the be all and end all of it, to release all the fears, to release all the doubts, to become that frequency of a higher love. And to remember that that is what we're here to do. Every single day, wake up with that intent because then um, it helps to lift and shift the energies really quickly to put you in that state of, okay, yeah, there's a higher purpose to this. There's a higher purpose to my life. And to really focus on not getting swept up in the craziness of what's going on. So with that, I am going to share at Work Your Light Oracle. What do they want us to do today? And the message is this. It is the awakening. <laughs> oh, dear me. Uh, the awakening. There you go. You are part of the awakening. So focus on that. Focus your energy. Um, I know lots of you are homeschooling. Lots of you are still working, supporting all of the... Um, all of the people and uh, lots of you are in all different situations. That's the thing. We're all in different situations all over the world. But the big point is, is that we really, really need to anchor our light. So the energetic work that we do, the, the intents that we put out, the intentions that we need to, the, the way that we're going to live our life and how we want to see our life going forward is so important now because we are creating this new reality. It's a real opportunity um, to make that happen, right? So it's a window in time. I mean, I know that it uh, looks horrendous uh, if you don't know the bigger picture, but when you know the bigger picture, this is the opportunity of time, right? So energetic upgrades, a new way of being, integration. You are going through a period of awakening. Things are changing within you and at many levels. You are starting to remember ancient truths and discovering more and more about who you are and why you were incarnated. You may find out that you're experiencing past life flashbacks, seeing the invisible thread that is woven through all of life, or even feeling your kundalini shakti rise through your body from the base of your spine. The most important thing for this time is not to overthink it and to stay grounded. Share your experiences with the likes of people while you consciously integrate them. 
journal and pay attention to your dreams. You are remembering and your soul gifts are emerging. During this time of transition and awakening, you may be called to devote yourself to being of service. There are ideas, truths, concepts, books and creations waiting to be birthed into this world. Stay open to receiving them. Pulling this card may be a sign that you are here to birth one of these creations into the world. Or perhaps you're being called to make a, start, a shift in your life in order to be of service. Don't think too much about it. Instead, repeat the following work your light activation. And the activation is this. I surrender to my awakening. I allow the Shakti energy to rise from the base of my spine. I open myself up to the universe, using me in a way that delights my mind, body and spirit. Mm. Oh, well, there you go. That is the message. And that was on page, I just said, oh, it was 45, wasn't it? That was the, um, the number of the mantra, which was... Uh, we vibe at the same frequency. We we vibe in the frequency of our creation. And that's what the awakening is, right? The awakening is getting back to the point of creation. And so there are so many people that are going to be, <laughs> frankly, brutally awakened during this time. And um, if you think back to your awakening and what this, and finding out you're a twin flame and all of those things, I mean, it was a pretty hair raising ride for me, I remember. And it was not easy at all. And it was full of tears and pain and hurt and oh, heart, feeling like my heart was really being ripped out of my chest, quite literally. And um, that is like really, really, really. Yeah, you've got to have compassion for the people out there who are just waking up to this path because once you've been woken, then that's it. You know, you can't go back. <clears throat> so let's have a little look. Um, 45 was uh, you and me, we vibe at the frequency of our creation. So 45 is the letter that I'm going to read out. So if you want to have a channel letter, it's $10. Healings and readings are $20. And if you want to have a letter read out like this in a video, please add a number between 1 and 266 in the comments field. So the message is firstly, trust in you. Trust in your own inner guidance. Know that if you are feeling drawn to something, it's because it's your inner soul calling you to it. And your inner soul is you and me. Oh, just what, the frequency. You and me, we vibe at the frequency of our creation. And there you go, in the letter, you and me, of course. That's the other thing. Remember that it's we and not you. We are guiding each other. So anything that you are drawn to do, then just go for it. Because it's us helping each other back to us. I know that might seem crazy. But the more you think that your inner guidance and your intuition is our joint map, our joint navigation system back to each other. Basically, the shortest route on GPS is picking us to guide us home. So in short, you is we and we is us and us is you and you is us. There is nothing but us ever. Follow what feels right. Follow the path that leads you back to you, to us, to we, to truth, to love to life well and you know the anxiety your barometer is your emotional is your emotions and so really important you know if you're getting that anxiety worry fears doubts all of the you know then that's the the that's basically the alarm call your internal alarm call to say hang on you're out of line you're as in you're not aligned to your inner truth and so therefore it's time to go and get grounded, to go for a walk, to go and connect, to sit in, you know, with your hands on your heart and just deep breathe, like 20 deep breaths in and out and just ask to be connected to your heart again. Um, and these, even if you can't get outside, you know, just pick a window where you can see the outside and just sit and just connect and do that. You might have to do it a hundred times a day. <laughs> Especially if you're still watching the news and da, 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 then, you know, the more that you do it, the more you'll connect with your inner self. Um, so I wish you could settle into your heart. Oh, there you go. Heart. I and mean, just put focus on the love that we have for each other and how we feel for one another. When we focus on the love, then everything else seems to pale in insignificance because we are already together. Everything else is just pieces of our jigsaw coming together. We are part of a bigger plan. 
a bigger jigsaw and all the pieces and elements need to be mapped out according to the divine plan for all of us. Focus on how you feel about me in your heart. I know that our love is strong enough to see us through. It's strong enough to pull us together. It's strong enough for me to overcome my fears. Believe me, our time is coming. So believe me, our time is coming. Right, so number three is this. There are so many things that I'd love to tell you. Share my intimate thoughts, share intimate moments. I just cannot wait for the moment in time that means we will be brought back together. You know that it's written in the stars. There's really nothing we can do to speed it up apart from trusting in our hearts, trusting in our process. We are all on our own individual soul journeys, but you have to know that all of our journeys end up at the same destination, the place where home is, and home is in your heart. You are my home. Oh, oh, wow. You are my home. That's 11.11 on the clock. And so I am going to pull guidance from the moon because let the moon be your guide. Let's see. Don't let pride get in the way. (laughs) This is also the lion, which is about having courage. So it is follow your guidance. For example, my mum yesterday, uh, after saying for months and months, no, I'm not going to contact my twin. He has to contact me. It's his turn. It's his turn. It's his turn. You know, all that crazy stuff that is really frank. And I always said, that's absolute nonsense. All the only thing that you need to follow is your own guidance. If your guidance is telling to contact him, do not let pride get in the way. It doesn't matter who contacted who first or the end of your situation or anything. The only thing that you need to listen to is your own guidance. And so I, I've been telling her, use the traffic light system. Close your eyes. Ask yourself the question that you want the answer to. And you'll see the traffic lights either go red, amber or green. So red is no, not now. Amber is not now. Green is go, go, go. <laughs> so for anyone who's also in the same situation as my mum. So yesterday... Um, she wrote, did write an email because, of course, we're in a so-called global pandemic. And so it's a perfect time to reach out to friends, right, And uh, that you haven't spoken to for a while. So this, is, so this card, I fully understand why this has come through because this is exactly what has happened yesterday. Because, the, because you need to have that courage, right? You've got to have the courage to follow your own inner guidance. And sometimes that is doing things that are totally against the grain of what society's rules, let's say, are. But that's the whole point. That's why you're here. That's what we're here to do, to break through those old ways of being. So have you been letting your pride become become an obstacle? Is the question you're asking based on your ego or is it from your heart? Leo energy is all about the heart. Think of the big hearted king of the jungle, the lion. Its energy is magnificent, but when it's combined with the rush of the full moon, it can become over the top. This card may have come to you because you need to end a deadlock that has developed. More love and thoughts for the greater good are the solution to this dilemma. If you're not been doing as you'll be done by lately, this is the time to find a balance between your own needs and the needs of the people around you. This will help in all of your relationships. So creative urges should be followed. Work your magic. So there you go. That's the message. Don't let pride get in the way. Use your creative energy. um, Let it flow. And basically at this time, you know, depending on what it's like for you in your country, where you are, um, just hunker down, focus on your energy, focus on your creations, focus on you and your family being setting an intent for your own energy bubble, for all of your family, all your pets, all your loved ones to live in. And, you know, put rainbow rays in there, put intentions for all good things, all happiness, all love, all joy, all like healthy, you know, all of the good stuff basically all walking on your highest path every day set the intent to walk your highest path and then trust that everything around you is happening because it's all part of the bigger picture 
So um, I'm just going to end by repeating the mantra, you and me, we vibe at the frequency of our creation. So remember, we are learning how to vibrate at a higher frequency when all around us is frankly going to shit. <laughs> or so the media would make us believe. So trust, 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 trust in your gui guidance and uh, just keep doing whatever you can to ground your energy. All right, I hope that helps. If you want a healing, a reading, a channeled letter or a letter request read out in a video, please do um, add a number between 1 and 266 into the description box. All of my books are available on Amazon, so you can get them on Amazon. And um, I just have to say, there is I was explained about a healing that I did yesterday or a couple of days ago. And the mantra that came through for them was, I am invincible. And yesterday, I mean, quite a specific word, I am invincible. I am invincible. And the healing was about putting a golden shield of armor around you so that um, when things get thrown at you, then they just bounce off. Very, you know, basically topical for what's happening in the uh, world at the moment as well. So imagine putting that golden shield around you. And the mantra was, I am invincible. And yesterday I went for a walk and a truck, there was one truck that I saw and it pulled up alongside me and I couldn't believe it, but on the side of it was written, invincible <laughs> which is just such a bizarre thing to see on the side of a truck I was like that is amazing so I took the picture of it and sent it to the person that uh, had the healing and I was like there you go you got to keep on moving right that's the truck as well signifying that your energy needs to keep on moving don't get stuck in this rut of what's going on at the moment so it was a perfect message to get um, but just remember, you are invincible. You build that shield around you, you know, build the golden shield with your intent. Um, and, you know, all of us, we've got to do that even more. It's so important. So I hope that helps. All right. Take care. Bye.